Hello and welcome to the ATEC channel. As always, we never stop bringing you entertaining and rewarding topics. That's why we're going to tickle your neurons again with today's video. Do you know why Microsoft has underwater data centers? If not, stay until the end of the video. If you use digital tools on a daily basis, you probably know about Microsoft. Yes, the giant Microsoft is always in the news. Research work is going on and new concepts are appearing. An underwater data center isn't that crazy. So that you're not too far off the mark, remember that a data center is a place where the elements of an information system are grouped together. Microsoft had an idea of putting servers in a water a few years ago. After years of preparation, it was able to realize its Natick project. Natick aims to place a data center in the seabed. Also known as a data center, it was assembled on land before being plugged off the coast of the Scotland. The idea may seem absurd to some, but it's actually happened. Indeed, in 2018, the firm placed several hundred servers in the ocean. The idea was just inconceivable at the time, and yet Microsoft has decided to prove that it's quite feasible. But why do you think this click? We tell you everything. Here we go. The idea of an underwater data center was born at Think Week. It's a Microsoft event where employees have the opportunity to share original ideas they think the company can pursue. One creative idea was put forward by two of its employees, Sean James and Todd Rawlings, proposed building an underwater data center powered by renewable ocean energy. Their goal was to be able to provide ultra-fast cloud services to crowded coastal populations. Their idea appealed to Norm Whittaker. At the time, he was leading special projects for Microsoft Research. A first test phase was done in 2015. A data center is indeed deployed at sea for 100 days. Following this test, the Natick project team partnered with the networking and security teams at Microsoft Digital and Arista. As a result, they were able to create a secure WAN connection from the undersea data center to the enterprise network. As a result, in the spring of 2018, they deployed a fully connected and secure data center. It was 36 meters below sea level off the coast of Scotland that the sealed cylinder was placed. After its smooth descent to the seabed, the goal was to leave it intact for two years. But that still doesn't answer the initial question. Why put a data center in the seabed? It's no secret, data centers emit a lot of heat. We all agree that overheating smartphones or PCs can be annoying. Well, climate is one of the factors that can easily cause this. However, change in temperature is inevitable on land. That's why conditioning systems are found in data centers. The challenge for Microsoft technicians was to find an alternative that would improve server performance, but this while limiting the risk of overheating. The project researchers came up with a hypothesis. Having a sealed container at the bottom of the ocean with a conductive environment would protect better the servers and increase their reliability. An environment with cold, stable temperatures would be ideal, they said. Ocean servers are an alternative they found to be effective for rapid cooling of the data center. The ocean is an environment with climatic conditions are fairly constant. The seawater would thus be enough to regulate the temperature within the data center. But the experiment does not stop with the cooling system. It is also important to ensure that the system is as reliable as it is on land. By placing these data centers underwater, Microsoft aimed to minimize data center failures. In doing so, it hoped to solve other problems that land-based data centers often face. Servers generate a lot of heat, as we understand it, and data centers are most of their electricity for cooling. Keeping not only the temperature, but the humidity level constant is important for optimal server operation. Neither of these very much at 30 meters underwater. But what about the other terrestrial issues? For decades, environmental issues have been found at the forefront of the agenda. The use of renewable energies has quickly become a global necessity. According to the UN, about 40% of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers of the ocean. Internet connectivity will expand to cover most of the globe over the next few years, and millions more people will connect. More servers will be needed to handle the increase in demand and the data that they will generate. While there are still many skeptics, Microsoft ensured that the installation of these underwater data centers is an environmentally responsible initiative. Indeed, the data center is powered and salute by renewable energy. Its goal is to have zero emissions installed to face the current environmental issues. In addition to that, Microsoft is working on minimalizing its energy consumption. According to him, the fact of placing these data centers underwater would considerably reduce the costs. However, questions around the environmental impacts of the project are multiplying. To date, no environmental damage has been noted since the first test. Microsoft has indeed planned everything. The presence of these servers will not destroy the ecosystem at first sight. It is an eco-energy project, which, according to him, enters directly into his perspective. The firm wants to emit innovation and modern ideas at all costs while representing the environment. 
After two years under the ocean, Microsoft servers were course brought to the surface. This allows experts to examine the condition of the data center. At first glance, the servers were covered in algae, but the water tightness of the cylinder allowed the data center to operate without major incident. According to the firm, the test brought more than satisfactory results. The reliability of the system was proven after two years of testing. Statistics revealed that the underwater data center only had 12% of the failures found in the land-based data centers. This would reduce the number of times Microsoft technicians would call for repairs, which would be even better since underwater inventions can be difficult. Microsoft also claims that the servers will be able to run for 5 years without maintenance. The total lifespan of installation would be 20 years or more, he says. But these are not the only advantages of this project. Indeed, for some time now, the internet has taken place in the working world. It has even become indisposable in certain areas. The failures related to the functioning of data centers are, however, never far away. The project to place an underwater data center would be a very beneficial alternative for billions of users around the world. Although this project, Microsoft aimed to improve the performance of alumni services, there is nothing more pleasant than working with a smooth and reliable internet connection. Microsoft even plans to place operational data centers near coastal cities. This decision is mainly due to the fact that a good part of the world's population living near the oceans could benefit from a more fluid and stable connection. This would allow users to access the internet more easily. The access of time to data stored in the cloud would decrease. What more could you ask for? Microsoft is still working on performance of the data center servers to satisfy its users. Maybe before long, all of our data will be stored at the bottom of the sea. The research around the implementation of an underwater data center will not stop anytime soon. After two years of testing, Microsoft has defined a controversial wisdom that the computer system cannot come into contact with water. The success of the Natick project is a big step forward in the world of computing, and it remains a project with great potential. Ocean currents may even be used to power data centers in the near future. The idea borders the incredible, doesn't it? Tell us what you think in the comments. We're already at the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed the topic and the content. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and click on that little blue thumb to turn on notifications. The team will be delighted. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, we can't wait to bring you our next topic. See you soon for another video on ATEC.